doing something a little unusual today. Uh, kind of breaking one of my cardinal rules uh, not to drive more than an hour, hour and a half to go spend the day somewhere. Because typically, if I'm driving more than two or three hours, uh, I plan on camping out, you know, and staying a day or two. So this is kind of like going against one of my major rules. But this is an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. And it was uh, Pecos Hank hit me up. I don't know if you're familiar with his work. Uh, he's a pretty popular storm chaser. And he's also really good at catching snakes. And, and he's a fantastic filmographer. He does amazing work. Well, we became friends over the years. And uh, he just so happens to be coming into town to uh, attend the Yeti Film Tour 2022. And uh, they've got one of his... Um, let me rephrase that. They have a film that features some of his work and uh, they they paid for him to come out to Miami to attend the film uh, festival and he asked me if I could join him and, uh, and of course I accepted and I'm on my way now all the way to Miami from Orlando. It's about a three and a half, four hour drive but I couldn't pass it up. So that's what we're doing. I'm on the road right now and I'm just trying to be careful out here so I can make it there and then make it back tonight. Alright guys, once we get down there we're going to see what we can get into. Alright. about 20 minutes or so from my location but I gotta tell you once you start getting close to like West Palm Beach it is nothing but urbanized areas and traffic is a nightmare it was really really bad it was like Mad Max out there um, but now I'm I'm getting close to uh, A1A and then I'll make a right and I'll and I'll get to the location which I'm kind of excited just to get out of the car stretch my legs and uh, and see when Hank is gonna show up. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. This is already proving to be a really cool little neighborhood. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get into. Get out and stretch our legs and uh, and check out the location. Oh. Let's not forget our sunglasses and hat, right? It's Miami after all. That's really cool. Right here by the parking area, they got a bunch of little parrots, little green parrots, eating all these sea grapes. Let's see if I can get a little closer. We 
don't doubt these guys up in the Orlando area. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, I've never seen a lizard like that before. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look him up, find out what he is. I did just see a rat run by. <laughs> oh, this is cool, check him out. Right here, another one. It's like I expected it. I would see some iguana out here. I saw them in Key West a few years back and I, would, and I actually caught one. But these lizards are nice and big, but you can't mess with them really because they will bite you. That's a wild hive. I was looking up in the tree for iguanas and, uh, and I spotted it right here. But hey, we finally hooked up. I'm here with the world famous Pecos Hank. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at a film festival at this beautiful building across the street. However, we can't make it in there because there's too many cool animals to see <laughs> right here in this parking lot. That's exactly it. We're looking at the curly tails, the iguanas, this wild beehive. Rats. Rats. There's tons of rats in this parking lot. It's funny. But yeah, it's my pleasure and my honor to be able to hang out with this guy. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, filmmakers. shucks. Yeah. But you, everybody knows I'm always talking about this guy. So I'm always what? talking about him. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and climb inside this building here and uh, see what's going on. Yeah, let's do it. I'm also here with my buddy Kelton. And uh, he's also he's also a storm chaser. He's a meteorologist studying. Great YouTuber. Hey, fantastic right, we'll YouTuber. See about that. Nah, this guy this is too modest, man. And we're going to see what we can get into out here. You ready to see this movie? For sure, man. Yeah, let's do it. All right. There's a nice little venue here. It's a little amphitheater. They've got the, the screen up front there, of course. And they're giving away coolers and all kinds of things on a raffle. That's exciting. Everybody's filling out the card. You got to fill out that card because those things are really valuable, sought after piece of equipment. Hank is over here. He's excited because he th this film is about him. So I'm really excited to see it. You can't see it anywhere else. And uh, see, here we go. That's our guy up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. You got a bunch of stuff on No, no. The guy over here is painting skate decks. I actually have a skate deck blank like that that I skate on and uh, I just never put any stickers or artwork on it or anything but he's out over here painting on it and he's doing a really good job on it too look at that that's cool right on this guy's doing a urban street style um, art in the, the format of like fish here we got tarpon we got red fish tarpon and, uh, jack Cavalli jack it's just fantastic but, So Hank, come on out here. Look at this man. His name trumps his job title, and that's pretty hard. That's a pretty amazing name. This man is a storm chaser. Okay, so in this neck of the woods, this is kind of your home turf, I feel. Hey goes, how did you get into storm chasing? It's just one of those things that you love and you do, you know, like 
you guys water skiing and in some crazy way you ended up making a living doing it. I don't know how it happened, but it, I did. I haven't, I mean, there's not many situations where you're on stage with a professional storm chaser. In recent years, how, how hectic has it gotten? It's getting less hectic. Less hectic? Yeah, it's, it's the last three years we have a, actually a, it's the tornado activity. The big significant tornadoes are declining. You're getting a lot of little ones, but not as many. We haven't had an EF5 since May 20th, 2013. Okay, so that's that's a good thing. So we're, we're grateful for that. Nobody in Tornado Alley is complaining. Okay, that's good. How close have you gotten to the eye of a storm? How, how far do you push your boundaries? You'll see in the film. Okay. Well, the film is coming up in the second reel, so after the interval. And the last question, how excited are your family about your job? Uh, well, we'll have to ask her. She's out there. Okay. Uh, she's okay with it. Okay, well, she, she, you know, she signed the paper when we got married, and I think she's even part of the film, and that will answer the question as well. Okay, so she can't really complain about us. So we're, we're happy to see you here. Thank you so much for bringing this film um, on the Yeti Film Tour. Really excited to see it now. But we have four amazing films for you in the first reel. So without any further ado, if you can please drum up a little bit of noise, ladies and gentlemen. Stage. We can bring that persona. This is why we're here. I just sort of calmly drive. And it wasn't until you know, I was a little older, eight or nine, when I realized my mom said, that's hail. We were heading into a, a thunderstorm. It's a big part of the drive. It's the one monster that truly exists. from a cumulonimbus cloud to the ground. Uh, yellow is surface temperatures, red is 500 millibar winds, black is 850 millibar winds, X marks the spot where we want to be. Let's say our percent right there. Pleasure meeting you, my man. For sure. Good luck man. with school. I think that uh, that's a really noble, uh, you know, career path. It's fantastic. I, I think I'd it's a it. smart career path. I agree. I agree. We're gonna see <laughs> him. We're so. gonna see it's him on the work. news. We're gonna see him on the news. Like today's weather patterns are gonna blow you away. Oh, I don't know about broadcast media. Nah. <laughs> they get stand in front of the green screen. I did that once. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> do it. Post it yeah. in this video. We want to see it. Yeah, I'll do that. Hank, thank you so much for inviting us down here. It was a pleasure. I had a great time. Quality Hank. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Your film, that film was the best one in the, in the lot. Oh, you're biased. That's bias in the scientific field. That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> but and there are other fantastic films in yeah. the in yeah. the lot. They were but, all pretty amazing. Yeah. But that thank one guys, really, yeah. really yeah. hit home. That one's like pounding. Yeah, it makes my heart race. Every time he puts a video out, I'm watching it with white knuckles. Like, oh man, that, oh. And chills are running down my spine. I was like, that's crazy. Because I've never seen a tornado person. Not ever. And I've been all careful over what the United you, Careful what you wish for. Yeah, sure. sure. You sit outside long enough, you will see them. <laughs> Especially here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I spend a lot of time outside. Yeah, you do. Probably we're, more than us, maybe. Yeah. You know, uh, we were talking about not being afraid of lightning. And, and I'm out in the kayak, out in open water very often. Just saying, well, it's my time, it's my time. We made it this far, right? Yeah, yeah, I made it this far. So losing the fear is, is uh, kind of easy. You get comfortable with it and snaps about. And then but that's when we die, right? That's, yep. when, that's when we die. So there is a little nervousness. 
it creeps in on you. <laughs> so, so Kelton was hit indirectly by lightning. Wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Not my top ten. <laughs> well, guys, it was a pleasure bringing you along with uh, this trip down to Miami to, to you know hang out with my 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 new friend Kelton and my old friend Hank here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, take care. Guys, let's have a safe drive home, okay? Let's do it. Yeah.